Hey guys, today I am back with another video on uh, the difference between the conus medullaris, the quadra equina, and the phylum terminal. Generally, this uh, uh, three terminologies are a little bit confusing every time. When we look at this terminologies, uh, it is uh, looking somewhat same. But today we are going to see what's uh, the difference between these three terminologies, and I hope you will remember them uh, after this. So let's start with the with my first terminology that is uh, conus medullaris. As we know that uh, spinal cord uh, begins at the level of uh, foramen magnum and continues till the L1 L2 vertebra. So at the L1 L2 vertebra, the spinal cord terminates, and uh, uh, this termination forms a conical projection or point. That is what we uh, call as conus cone like cone like means if you see this uh, uh, carefully it, it is resembling like cone as an ice cream cone so we called it as conus medullaris so the spinal cord is ending as a an point or a cone that is what we called as conus medullaris so i hope this is clear to you conus medullaris so we are done with the first terminology uh, let's move on to the second terminology uh, that is to say Quadra equina. So what does what does this means? When the spinal cord has ended at the level of L1, L2 vertebra, what happens is the spinal nerves which were arising individually uh, when the spinal cord was continuing, like here from the intervertebral foramen. But when this ended at uh, the L1, L2 level, the spinal nerves are still arising from it and are finding way to exit. So, uh, this nerves, some of the nerves are coming from this intervertebral foramen, some are going down and what happens is, after some time, they uh, all the all these spinal nerves get aggregated uh, at one intervertebral foramen. These are coming and coming and coming and aggregating at one point. So, this uh, aggregation forms a horse tail like appearance. That is what we know, squada means what? Horse. So, horse tail like appearance. So it uh, resembles a horse tail. So this is what we known as quadra equina. That is to say, horse tail like projection. Uh, so it is uh, nothing else but the aggregation of the spinal nerves, which is resembling to the horse tail. Uh, so we completed with this definition, this terminology. Uh, then we will come on to the phylum terminal. Our next terminology is phylum terminal. So what does this phylum terminal means? It is nothing but just a connective tissue, a fibrous connective tissue, which is the extension of the pia mater. As we have learned uh, all the um, three layers, that is to say dura mater, arachnoid mater, pia mater. It is present in the CNS, means in brain also and in the spinal cord also, you will find this uh, three layers. So the pia mater's extension is this uh, phylum terminal. So we can say it is a fibrous connective tissue, which is the extension of the pia mater which is joining the conus medullaris what we have just now um, learned the conus medullaris so this phylum terminal is joining this conus medullaris with the coccyx bone the tip of the coccyx so it is joining with the tip of the coccyx so it is joining the conus medullaris with the coccyx the tip of the coccyx because it is a connective tissue so what um, what does the connective tissue do? It connects two things. So uh, this is also doing the same. It is connecting the uh, uh, conus medullaris with the coccyx. So I hope you uh, uh, you are clear with the this uh, three terminologies. And uh, uh, now we will not be confused between these three terminologies.